Chapter 21 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 21 Contract Wife Shall we head out now? Adrian suggested. Oh that that's right. Millie is waiting for us. My eyes widened at the realization. My shocked expression must have been clear since Adrian started laughing a little at me. His hand started pulling down my skirt from where it was hiked up around my waist down to its original position. Wait that where are my panties? Although my skirt was arranged to its normal position now, I didn't have my panties on anymore. If I recalled correctly, Adrian had removed them before he started touching and licking my pussy. Where is it now? Looking for this. Adrian asked teasingly as he held up my hot pink lace panties. Yes, I replied as I reached out towards my panties. Just as my hand was about to reach its target, Adrian pulled my panties away from me. I looked at him with confusion at what he was doing. Now isn't the time to play these games. Hand it over. I said as I pouted at him. They're dirty so I'm going to trash them. Adrian stated matter dot of dot factly. Ha. Huh. Then what the hell am I supposed to wear? Don't do that. What am I supposed to wear then? I asked as I tried to grab the panties from his hand. You don't need to wear anything. You'll be fine. Adrian said as he chuckled playfully. So, he says. No, I exclaimed loudly as Adrian threw my panties into the bin. Is he serious? Adrian. I cried out his name, shocked at his action. We should head out now that we're running pretty late. Traffic could be bad too, you know. Adrian said as his green eyes twinkled evilly at me. He's such a tease. With his large hands on my back, he carefully ushered me out of his office. I don't know whether I was feeling overly conscious about it or not, but it felt very cold there when I didn't have my panties on. Am I just imagining this or what? Because of the tall, super handsome and very talented doctor next to me, I am now walking through the hospital at his side without any panties on. Dr. Adrian, are you leaving for the day? A beautiful nurse greeted him as he walked past. Yes, thank you for your continuous dedicated to our hospital, Adrian replied smoothly as he smiled professionally at her. Thank you so much for your support the other day, sir, a doctor said as he bowed a little to show his respect to Adrian. Dot, no worries. I look forward to working more with you in the future too, Adrian replied flawlessly. The doctor smiled back brightly as if he had just seen an angel descend down from the heavens. While Adrian exchanged conversation with the various people, I stood next to him with my most beautiful smile on my lips and acted the role of his wonderful and supportive girlfriend. He's too good at this that it made me feel out of place to be at his side. It's been a few months now since we've made our fake relationship public. Everyone in the hospital now knows that we're dating with the intention of getting married in the near future. Well, that's the story that we gave them anyways. Finally, we managed to make it out of the hospital and to his car. That felt like it took half an eternity instead of around 15 minutes. Adrian, being the heir to taking over this hospital as well as the other hospitals in the hospital chain that is owned by his family, was extremely popular among the management and the staff. His genius skills as a doctor as well as his sharp management skills made him truly revered by his colleagues. That and probably the fact that he's so good-looking and charmingly perfect as well. In my normal life, I wouldn't have dreamed that a guy like him would be dating me. Truthfully, someone like him probably wouldn't pay me any attention in the first place. However, by some twist of fate, we are now in a formal relationship. Formal in the strict sense of the word. Our relationship is bounded by a contract. I'm his contract girlfriend and soon. To dot be contract wife and he's one of my contract husbands. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I asked accusingly as I sat in the passenger seat of his car. I've got completely no idea what you're talking about. Adrian replied before he smirked without looking at me. We're taking your daughter to her friend's birthday party. I reminded him. It should be good fun, Adrian replied casually. 
I rolled my eyes before deciding to look out at the scenery that was passing by outside of the car's window. Adrian was in a great mood as he started humming along to the song playing on the radio. When I first started dating him as part of my job, I never thought that he would turn out to be such a pervert. I mean, what would you call a guy who would make you go to a children's birthday party without panties on underneath your skirt? Fortunately, traffic wasn't so bad, and we managed to arrive at his mansion a little earlier than I had thought which meant that we were roughly on time. A little five-year-old girl was waiting for us anxiously with her nanny in the living room. Daddy, the girl cried out excitedly when she spotted her father walk in. Immediately, the girl got up from the sofa and ran towards Adrian. I watched as Adrian crouched down and opened his arms to welcome her. The girl ran into his arms and hugged him tightly. It was a loving sight that always brought a tender smile to my lips. This girl is Millie, and she is Adrian's only daughter. Long wavy dark brown hair, matching chocolate dot colored eyes, and a cute round face. Surprisingly, Millie did not resemble Adrian at all. She must take after her mother. Of course, I didn't know what Adrian's ex-wife looked like and I didn't know anything about her either. Adrian didn't tell me anything about her and I didn't dare to ask. As always, Millie was dressed like a little princess and was carrying her favorite pastel pink rabbit plush toy. She was a really cute little girl and a smart one too. To be continued. Chapter 22 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 22 The Perfect Girlfriend, Hi. Elena, she greeted me before smiling sweetly my way. Hi, Millie. Looking forward to the party. I asked as I smiled back at her. She's such a cute girl, really. It took quite a while for her to warm up to me and come to terms with the fact that I'm dating her father. Now, I could proudly say that we are on very friendly terms. Yes. Let's go. Millie cried out cheerfully. Right. Let's go. I also cried out excitedly as I mimicked her cheerful pose. Adrian took her hand and together the three of us walked to the car. The nanny helped put her backpack in the bag seat of the car along with Millie while Adrian and I rode in the front seats. At times like these, I couldn't help but feel like we really were a family. Millie chatted away about some toys that she played with and what was happening at school with her friends. Adrian made appropriate comments here and there while I listened to their conversation. I felt a small tug on my hand and realized that Adrian had started holding my hand in his. His hand around mine was warm and I couldn't help but smile a little at him. The tender touch of his hand and the family-like atmosphere in the car reminded me that once, I too, had a family like this. It was a short drive to Millie's friend house where the party was taking place. My job for today was to act as Adrian's girlfriend and Millie's new mother. From what I've been told, Adrian and Millie's mother divorced when she was just a baby. From then on, Adrian had been raising Millie as a single father. Now that Millie is growing up and socializing more with the people around her, Adrian's family wanted him to remarry to find a new mother for Millie and to produce more children. The Classic Rich and Demanding Family Story If your family isn't perfect, it was very hard for you to avoid dark gossips in high society. Adrian's Divorce from His Ex Wife was having many negative repercussions on Millie. Now that she has grown up enough to understand a bit of what was going on, she was feeling the negative impacts firsthand such as being teased at school for not having a mother. That was where I entered into the picture. We've arrived, Adrian said as he got out of the car and opened the door for Millie. Yay! Millie cried out happily before laughing. I offered the girl my hand and she took it while smiling up at me. We led her inside the house where her friends were already there playing with some games. Adrian, so happy that you and Millie could make it, a woman with blonde hair and a very beautiful smile greeted us at the door. This must be one of the hosts for today's party. The mother of one of Millie's friends, I quickly took mental note. She's a target for me to impress as Adrian's girlfriend and Millie's mother. We're glad to be here. Thanks so much for the invitation. 
Millie has been excited and looking forward to this party, Adrian replied before smiling politely at her. Her eyes were immediately on me, and I smiled at her while I waited for Adrian to introduce me. This is the first time that he's introducing me into Millie's world of acquaintances and failure on my part wasn't an option. This is Elena, she's my girlfriend, Adrian introduced me with a proud smile before putting an arm around my waist. It's a pleasure to meet you, I said, my voice sweet and dripping with honey. Wow. I didn't know that Adrian had a girlfriend. I'm Gemma, Isabel's mother. You two come inside, Gemma said. By this time, Millie had already rushed into the house to join the rest of her friends. We both followed Gemma inside of her house. The kids had formed their own group to play games and the parents had formed another group to socialize while they waited for their kids to be done. It was a simple and clean setup that allowed both age groups to pass the time enjoyably. This way, Gemma said as she led Adrian and I to the sofa where the other parents were chatting. I'm Adrian, Millie's father and this is my girlfriend, Elena. Nice to meet you, Adrian introduced us flawlessly as I plastered on one of my most charming smiles. If nothing else, I knew that I was an easy sight on the eyes. It was common for people to think that I'm nothing more than a beautiful face and that worked in my favor most of the time. Honestly, you have to look at least above decent to date billionaires and Adrian was definitely one of them. So, Elena, what do you do? One of the women in the group asked. L.C. It was one of the most common questions that I would get whenever I went out with my clients. The way that everyone was looking at me made it clear that they were wondering how I managed to hook someone as handsome and rich as Adrian. The fact that he hasn't been in a relationship for many years probably only added to the mystery. I'm a designer. I own my own line of clothes and accessories. I have a degree in business management, but I honestly feel more inclined towards design. So, combining my passion for fashion and my background in business, I somehow managed to launch my own fashion line, I replied flawlessly before smiling warmly at my audiences. It wasn't a lie. I did own a small company that sells clothes and accessories produced based on my own original designs. Obviously, the company was small and couldn't support my current lifestyle or the overwhelming amount of debt that I had on my shoulders. Obviously, these people didn't need to know that. Wow that that's amazing, one of the men said as he smiled at me. Some men are easy to bewitch and this gentleman here is definitely one of them. They asked me a couple of other questions before the conversation finally steered in a different direction. I could feel Adrian's eyes on me as I conversed fluidly with the other parents. Whenever our eyes met, I would smile at him to assure him that I was fine and that everything was going according to plan. Why don't we all head out to the garden for some drinks? I've already prepared everything outside, Gemma suggested energetically. That's a great idea, another parent said. Yeah dot let's do that, another woman readily agreed. We should have enough nannies to cover the kids, another mother said before smiling brightly. To be continued. Chapter 23 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. 23 Where we left off with that Adrian and I also made our way out to the garden where some cocktails were already prepared for us. I felt Adrian's warm hand on the small of my back as he stood next to me before he offered me a glass of pinkish orange cocktail. Thank you, Adrian, I thanked him while smiling sweetly. I took the glass from him and began sipping the cocktail slowly. It was sweet dot perhaps a little too sweet but my sweet tooth didn't mind at all. I glanced over at Adrian, feeling a little worried because I knew that he didn't deal with sweet things very well. It was always black coffee dot or shots for him. Too sweet for you. I asked. You. Or the drink. Adrian replied teasingly. I giggled at his cute joke before we clinked out glass together. The conversation among the parents was actually quite boring with a lot of it involving the children, the school, their development, planned family holidays and other topics of that sort. Adrian was clearly disengaged while I tried my best to stay engaged in the conversation. Suddenly, I felt something splash a little on my shirt. Looking down, 
I could see a pinkish stain on my shirt. Oh that I'm so clumsy. Sorry that we'll just head in to clean this off. We'll be back in a bit, Adrian said hurriedly before he grabbed my hand in his and began dragging me back inside of the house. Just like the rest of the people, I was slightly confused at what was happening. I turned to smile and bow a little to excuse us from the other people as Adrian dragged me back inside. Adrian. I called his name softly once we were inside the house. Wordlessly, Adrian led me to the bathroom. I could feel the stickiness of the stain on the skin of my chest. However, it wasn't a big deal or anything. Accidents do happen after all. Adrian dragged me into the bathroom before closing and locking the door quickly behind us. I wasn't able to say a single word before his lips sealed mine in a heated kiss. His hand held the back of my head as his lips crushed hungrily against mine. My eyes widened in shock at the abruptness of his action before I closed my eyes and surrendered myself to the blissfulness of his kiss. He kissed me ardently before his hot tongue slipped in between my slightly parted lips into the depths of my mouth. Adrian skillfully teased my tongue with his, making me let out a soft moan as I started melting against his hard body. His hands were all over my body as he continued to taste my lips. His hands slid down my body to cup and massage my breast over my clothes. His squeezed my breast softly at first before his touch became rougher. I kissed him back hungrily as I threw my arms around his neck, drawing him even closer to me. This made me remember that Adrian was probably holding back when we were at his office at the hospital. I wished that he could have hung on until this party was over and we returned back to his mansion but clearly that wasn't possible anymore. It was impossible to stop Adrian when he got like this. The best solution was to get this over with as fast as possible. I could feel the shape and hardness of his erect cock against my belly. Judging from how hard and ready he was, this wouldn't take too long. My body was also more than ready for him. I could feel my own warm wetness gushing out from the slit in between my legs. My wetness seeping out of my love hole and trickling down my inner thighs. Adrian broke our kiss and began planting kisses down the side of my neck before he started sucking on my sensitive skin softly. I moan in protest because I didn't want him to leave a mark. A mark on the neck would be easily spotted by other people and I didn't have a concealer on me at the moment. I whispered his name seductively as his hands ran down the length of my body from my breasts down the plane of my stomach and down even further. He stroked my waist and then my hips before his hands dipped underneath my skirt and began stroking my thighs softly. My entire body trembled in anticipation as he ran his fingers up my inner thighs, inching towards the hot wet mess in between my legs. Adrian. I whispered his name, and I wasn't sure if I wanted him to stop or to continue. It didn't matter either way. I knew that there was no way that Adrian would stop until he'd had his way with me. I let out an impassioned moan when his fingers finally reached the wetness in between my legs and began stroking my flooded love entrance. His fingers running up and down the length of my wet opening felt amazing, and it made me want to feel even more of him. Your pussy is flooded again. Did walking around without your panties on turn you on? Adrian whispered teasingly. Don't tell me that that you did all that on purpose. I said in between my pants. I knew that he knew what I was referring to. He must have spilled the cocktail on me on purpose just to get me here. Adrian smiled sweetly and innocently at me as if he didn't know what I was referring to. Instead of answering my question, Adrian focused his attention on pleasuring me instead. Not that I thought that that was a bad alternative. Ah, ah, I moaned louder before biting down on my lower lips to prevent even more moans from spilling out from my lips. Dot Adrian thrusted one of his long and very thick fingers into my pussy hole. My pussy walls clenched around his intruding finger immediately as it tried to suck his finger deeper inside. It feels so good. I know it's just his finger, but it already feels maddeningly pleasurable. Your pussy is so hot inside. Adrian said as his fingers started moving inside of my love hole. To be continued. Chapter 24 You are listening at novelfull.audio. 24 Satisfying My First Husband, 
ah, Adrian. I moaned as I began rocking my hips against his hand and finger. Should not if you get too loud people are going to hear all the lewd sounds that you're making. Adrian warned teasingly. There were so many people in this house right now. The children dot the nannies. I covered my mouth with my hand as I closed my eyes and wrote out the pleasure that Adrian was feeding my body. His finger began thrusting in and out of my hole mercilessly. His hand slapping against my pussy as his finger stirred up my wetness, making lewd wet sounds echo throughout the bathroom. My legs started to feel weak from the pleasure and I had to use my other hand to grip the sink to remain standing. What about another one? Adrian suggested. I didn't have time to respond before he screwed another finger inside of me. My pussy stretched to accommodate the shape and size of his fingers as they began pumping wildly into my love hole. His fingers rubbed against my pussy walls and hit my pleasure spot deep inside. It was driving me wild with lust and desire. I cried out softly into the palm of my hand as Adrian thrusted his fingers hard and fast into my pussy. My hips began moving on its own again, thrusting my hips towards his fingers. Skillfully, Adrian felt around my insides until he found my sensitive G-dot spot and began thrusting his fingertips roughly against it. The pleasure quickly became too much for me to handle. If he doesn't stop, I'm going to come very soon. Adrian that I'm gonna dot come. I said in a shaky voice as I felt my orgasm fast approaching. Just come. Adrian said as his fingers began moving even faster against my pleasure spot. Just like I had said, I climaxed almost right away. My pussy squirting out my love juices onto his fingers and hand. My entire body trembled as my pussy clenched and spasm wildly around his fingers. I was still recovering from my climax when I felt Adrian slowly withdrawing his fingers from my body. Turn around. Adrian instructed as he helped me turn my body away from him. I placed my hand on the wall as I bent down and stuck my ass out towards him. His hands quickly pulled my skirt upwards, exposing my naked ass to him. My pussy was so wet since I just came, and I could feel my juices running down my thighs as I waited in anticipation for him to take me from behind. I heard the familiar sound of Adrian unbuckling his belt and unzipping his pants. Since I had just climaxed, my pussy still felt a little sore and sensitive, however, I couldn't wait to feel Adrian's gigantic cock fill me up inside. I didn't have to wait for too long before I felt the heat of his thick cock position itself at my slippery entrance. I really missed you this week. I really couldn't wait to fuck you, Elena. Adrian whispered seductively into my ear before he bit on my earlobe teasingly. It stung a little, but it didn't hurt. Ah. 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 I cried out, forgetting to muffle my cries. Adrian entered me in one forceful thrust that buried the length of his entire hot rod into me. It hurts dot but it feels so good at the same time. It was a sensation that was hard to describe. Adrian's cock was very hard, thick and long. Although we've made love many times by now, I still found it difficult to take him in without feeling a slight stinging pain as he penetrated me. Bite on my fingers dot you're getting too loud. Adrian instructed as he positioned his fingers at my lips. I nodded slightly before taking two of his fingers into my mouth and began sucking on it. Soon I had to bite on them, when Adrian began moving his massive cock inside of my hole. He reared his hips back, pulling his cock out of me before thrusting it back in deeper than before. I bit on his fingers to keep myself from crying out loud as he began pounding his cock in and out of my love hole. I could hear distant sounds of the children laughing and playing from the other side of the wall where we were busy mating like wild animals. I prayed silently that no one would hear us. Adrian hitting his cock against my womb robbed me of any further thought or prayer on that topic. His massive member stroked the walls of my pussy with his movement as he thrusted wildly into me. He must have been holding back for too long because he was going completely crazy right now. He gripped my hips with his other hand as his hips moved to ram his cock into my pussy from behind. His hips slapped against my ass as he pumped his cock fast and hard inside of me. 
it took a lot of effort me to stay standing at the force of his thrusting. Our bodies made slapping sounds as his cock plunged into my wetness from various angles. It felt too good to be true and I wanted him to continue pounding his massive member into me forever. The wet sound of his cock beating into my wetness filled the bathroom as we coupled passionately. His cock stretched and filled me up so completely and it felt extremely satisfying. I'm about to come again. He's moving too fast and he's hitting all the right spots deep inside of me. I couldn't take it anymore that I'm about to climax again. About to come. Your pussy is clenching around my cock so tightly. Adrian whispered knowingly. I'm not coming, I whimpered as my climax claimed me again. My pussy clenched harder around his cock as I struggled to feel even more of him. Adrian continued pounding his member into me. I could tell from his wild thrusting and low groans that he was close to his release as well. I thrusted my hips backwards invitingly as he continued to take me fast and hard from behind. After a few more deep and hard thrusts, Adrian groaned my name when he reached his own heights. His cock twitched inside of me as it shot his hot seed deep into my love tunnel. I closed my eyes and sighed with satisfaction at the feeling of his warmth flooding into me. He's coming so much inside of me. He's filling me up with so much of his seed. It's endless. We were both panting hard when we were done with our passionate tryst. Adrian withdrew his cock from my wet hole as he supported me to make sure that I could still stand. I nodded at him, signaling that I was okay. I was fine but I wasn't sure if my pussy was or not. Just like always, I would probably be sore tomorrow morning. My pussy was flooded with the mix of our love juices that had gushed out when Adrian withdrew his cock from my body. I could smell the mix of our sex juices. This is such a mess. I better clean up quickly so that we can rejoin the others. They were probably suspicious already since we've been gone for a while now. To be continued. Beov. Chapter 25 You are listening at novel full. Audio. 25 My second husband flash 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 arrows please look this way. Perfect. Just relax your upper body a bit. Look into the camera. That's it. Give us a sexy look, glance over there. Yup. Okay, a couple more full body shots with some accessories over here and we can probably call it a day. I stood to the side in a navy suit and a matching skirt as I watched Eros work on the last job on his busy schedule for today. From early in the morning until now, Eros had been working on various jobs. Starting from an interview for a magazine early in the morning. Followed by a commercial shoot that ran from late morning to early afternoon with only a short lunch break in between. Another interview recording late in the afternoon. Without a break for dinner, we had to drive all this way to this studio for him to do a fashion photo shoot for one of the leading brands that had decided to feature their products in the album cover and bonus booklet that would accompany the launch of his new music album that was expected to launch at the end of the month. I glanced at the cock on the wall which showed that it was already close to midnight. Once again, I wondered how many hours of sleep Eros would be getting tonight. I wouldn't be with him tomorrow since I had to take care of another client and that made me quite worried about him. Although he would probably just snap at me if I told him that. My eyes returned to the sizzling hot man posing in front of the camera, his piercing golden eyes reminded me of the wild lions running in the yellow grass field of the savanna and so did his glossy mid-length blonde hair and his matching long blonde eyelashes. He's so hot. I can't believe I'm seeing him in person. Eros is the best. I love his songs. His new movie is great too. Endless whispers of praise from the staff that had gathered not too far from me were quite disturbing. I've gotten used to hearing these comments by now and just hoped that Eros couldn't hear them. Everyone would think that he would be happy to hear people shower him with praises, but in reality, he was annoyed with anything that would distract from his work. Shoo, I whispered softly as I put a finger up to my lips. The staffs turned towards me before lowering their voices. It was only for two days a week but for those two days, I was officially the manager of one of the most famous superstars on this continent. Eros, the lead singer of the band Eros Wings. 
Although he started off in a rock star his career has now evolved to take on other challenges such as modeling and acting. My eyes returned to him again and I think for a split of a second our eyes met. Perhaps I imagined it, but I think he just grinned at me. That brought a little smile to my lips. He's so hard to manage and I don't know why I've put up with him after all this time. Eros, he's my second contract husband. That's a wrap. Thank you, Eros. Thank you everyone, the director in charge of the photo shoot called out loudly. The lighting was switched off and the staff started reviewing the photos while the other team members started packing up. Eros, or rather Sean, which was his real name, got up from the chair that he was sitting on. He looked pointedly at me, and I quickly snapped out of my thoughts. My legs were taking me towards him even before my mind could process what I was doing. I could tell by the look of annoyance in his eyes that he was about to reach his breaking point. Of course, no one can ever find out what the real Eros is really like. If they did, Eros will never be the same again and that will destroy the profitability of the largest entertainment companies on this continent. Since I couldn't be held responsible for such a huge crisis, I had to get him out of here before his F.A.A.D.E. cracks. Excuse me. Please back away. I cried loudly as I pushed through the people that have crowded around him. Unnecessary attention that I s not dot good. Please step back. I'm so sorry about this but Eros needs to head to his dressing room now. Please step aside. I yelled loudly now to make myself heard over the crowd. Before I took on this job, I never imagined that being a manager for a superstar could ever be this tough. Thankfully, there were other people in the team that helped Eros out with his work. With the help of everyone, we managed to part the crowd to create a path for Eros to walk peacefully from the shooting scene to his dressing room. Hang in there dot please. I whispered as I walked by his side. Eros kept his head hung low and his eyes on the floor all the way to the dressing room. He must have looked like a very humble artist to the staff who were also his fans. In this industry where many stars developed ugly personalities after gaining fame, Eros was flawlessly humble and pure. Despite his fame, he was nice, respectful, and professional to everyone. Everyone who came into contact with him couldn't help falling in love with his charismatic personality. However, the truth was. Eros and I entered his changing room and he quickly closed the door behind us and locked it. Eros's dressing room is off dot limits to all staffs unless they had permission from his regular manager, Eros, or me. The main reason for that was. That I sucked in a breath and held it as I watched Eros throw the scarf that he had around his neck on the floor before he headed for the table, grabbed a bottle of water and started pouring water onto his blonde hair. I had to admit that Eros dumping water onto his hair and shaking his head about was a very sexy sight to behold, however, that wasn't the key issue here. To be continued. Chapter 26 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. 26 His Real Self, Hell. Those fucking bitches were so annoying. They were chatting all the way through the whole fucking shoot. I could hear almost every word that they said, and they fucking thought they were fucking whispering. Sean growled through clenched teeth as he ran his fingers through his wet hair. Shit that I knew it. He heard them. I let out the breath that I had been holding. When we are alone, Eros is gone. The man standing in front of me is Sean Herman, the real man behind Eros. The only son of the Herman family and sole heir to the largest entertainment company, GH Entertainment. You did well. I'm sure the photos will look great, I said as I offered him a little smile. Of course, it will dot but who cares. Sean said with a shrug before he plopped down into a chair in front of the mirror. Let's pack up and head back. I suggested. It was very late, and no one gets off work until Sean does so truthfully, we were holding up the entire team. By the time the shoot had ended, it was way past midnight and I was sure that everyone was looking forward to calling it a day. You won't be here tomorrow, right? Sean asked. Yeah that I won't be. I replied quietly. I heard Sean click in tongue in annoyance. Tomorrow, 
I have to work for another client, meaning my other contract husband so I won't be working as his manager. Your hair and your shirt are all wet. You should change or you'll catch a cold. I warned as I pointed a finger at his chest. Help me. Sean said softly. What? I asked in confusion. Help me dot change my clothes. Sean requested once again. No. You can do it yourself, I refused directly. Hm I guess everyone will have to sleep in this shitty studio tonight then, Sean said casually before smirking at me. Ha. Huh. I let out a sound of surprise. I'm not moving from this chair until you do as I say. Sean said, sounding very much like a spoiled kid. Stop playing games with me, Sean. I snapped at him immediately. I stormed towards the closet in the room where his clothes were. Grabbing his shirt, his jeans, and his black leather jacket, I quickly brought them out and dumped them on the dressing table right in front of him. Change your clothes. Now. I commanded as a scowl creased my brows. I need to stop this. Botox and facial lifts are expensive, and I need to save up money. My beautiful face is part of my trade so I must maintain it as best as I can. With that thought in mind, I sucked in a deep breath and relaxed my face into a polite expression. I hate how fake your face looks right now, Sean stated with distaste. Stop pissing me off and just do as I say dot please. I said in a tight voice as I plastered a smile on my face all for the sake of preventing lines from creasing the skin on my face. Suddenly I heard soft knocks on the dressing room door. It must be someone from the team of staff. Yes. What is it? I called towards the door. I'm dot the car is ready the staff informed us. The message was clear. Everyone was ready to go, and they were just waiting on us. While Mr. Eros here refuses to change his own clothes. Sean, change your clothes and come outside, okay? I'll be waiting for you, I instructed as I gestured to the clothes that I had placed on the table in front of him. Sean looked at the clothes on the table with emotionless eyes. It was like he didn't see them at all. I sighed loudly as I turned on my heels and started to walk away. Suddenly, I felt his grip on my wrist and then my arm and body were being pulled backwards. When did I say that you could leave? Sean asked but it wasn't really a question. Dot, Sean. I whispered his name in shock as the grip on my wrist tightened slightly. His golden eyes narrowed at me as he slowly stood up from his seat. I could tell from the look in his eyes that he was quite angry right now. Instinctively, I took a step back as he came closer, his hand still holding my wrist. He took another step towards me, and I took another step back until I felt the hardness of the table behind me bumping into the flesh of my buttocks. That was when I realized that he had me cornered. Sean dot not here. I said softly as I brought my other hand up and touched his chest. I felt the wetness of his shirt on the palm of my hand. His shirt is wet, and he still refused to get changed. His eyes stared deeply into mine and it was impossible for me to look away from the captivating beauty of his eyes. These eyes that have captivated the countless souls of his fans, I'm getting to see them up close. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of his at all. Slowly his hand reached for my hand and removed it from his chest before he slowly leaned in closer and started kissing the side of my neck softly. His hands held both of my wrists to prevent my escape as his body trapped me in between the dressing table and his tall and large frame. His lips felt warm and demanding on my neck as his soft kisses quickly turned into firm sucking. When he ran the tip of his tongue along the arch of my neck, my body shivered, and I heard myself let out a soft moan. Sean moved even closer, pining his hips against me, trapping me between him and the table behind me. My eyes widened in surprise at how hard his cock had already gotten. I could feel his hardness press against me as he pressed me against the table. Without saying anything, his hands released mine and began unbuttoning the small buttons of my white shirt. One by one he undid the buttons before he parted the fabric covering my body to the side. To be continued.
Chapter 27 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 27 Honest Desire I moaned softly as his hands slid underneath my bra before he pushed them upwards to expose my naked breasts to his hungry eyes. His gaze felt like it was burning my body and I felt my nipples hardening just at his touch. Sean cupped my breasts with his hands before he started squeezing them softly, making me moan at the pleasurable sensation. Your breasts are so beautiful that are so soft, he whispered as his hand started applying more force. He massaged my breasts and my breathing quickened. He's turning me on so much already, if this continues, we're going to end up having sex right here in the dressing room. I could feel his heart on against my belly and I knew that he also needed his release. Sean had a very strong sex drive, and I knew that from personal experience although I haven't been working with him for that long. As a result, we've ended up doing it in many random places that suited his work schedule. Sean. Maybe we should wait till we're back at your place. I suggested weakly. I hate it when you're not being honest. I've told you that twice already today. Sean replied coldly. Sean. I whispered his name. He ignored me as he dipped his head lower and engulfed one of my erect nipples into his hot and wet mouth. The warm and wet sensation of his mouth on my nipple turned me on even more. Without wasting any time, Sean began flicking the tip of his tongue against my nipple before he sucked on it hard. I threw my head back and cried out at the sudden pleasure as my hand clutched at his head. I thrusted my chest towards his face invitingly and he sucked on my nipple even harder than before. After that he switched to pay loving attention to my other nipple. While his lips were busy sucking on my nipple, his hand started its journey down the curves of my body from my chest down to my waist before dipping lower towards my hips. Finally, his hand disappeared under my skirt. I whimpered his name softly when his fingers pressed up against the crotch of my panties. Your panties are soaked, and you were telling me to wait until we got home. Sean said followed by an amused laugh. His fingers quickly pulled my panties to the side before he ran his fingertips along the wetness in between my legs. I could feel his fingers stroking my slippery wetness and I knew that I was soaking wet down there. I bit my lower lips and began moaning louder as his fingers continued to stroke my wet pussy until his fingers brushed against my swollen clit. Ah. Ah. I let out a cry at the intense pleasure that ran from where his fingers were actively stimulating my clit. It's so good that I couldn't help crying out. His fingers stroked my clit faster and harder before he pinched it in between his fingertips and rolled it. My legs immediately felt weak from desire, and I had to lean back against the table behind me. Admit it, Elena, you can't wait for me to fuck you. Sean whispered seductively. I dot awe, I couldn't reply to him. All I could do was moan to keep myself from going crazy from the pleasure that he was making me experience. Without warning, Sean rammed two of his thick and long fingers into my pussy hole. I cried out loudly at the suddenness of his entrance. Sean began moving his fingers right away, thrusting them in and out of my hole from various angles. He made sure to hit my pleasure spots and I hated how he knew how to please my body so well. You're flooding down here, Elena. Sean cooed into my ear. Ah, ah, I continued to moan as my hips began moving to match the thrusting rhythm of his fingers. This is your honest expression, Elena. Look carefully. This is what you look like when you're honest with me, Sean hissed in my ear as he turned my body around to face the mirror. The erotic look on my face shocked me. My face was flushed, and my lips were swollen with my mouth agape as I moaned and panted like a woman in heat. His finger curled up to stimulate my G dot spot and my face contorted into an even more erotic expression. Sean dot please, I pleaded although I wasn't sure what I was pleading for. You're about to see you M Dennis oh you're begging for it. Sean said knowingly. His fingers began moving faster and harder inside of my hole. He pushed me forward softly so that I leaned on the dressing table with my ass turned in his direction. His fingers continued to ram in and out of me from behind. Don't close your eyes. I want you to watch yourself when you climax. Sean instructed as his other hand dipped in front of my hips. 
I cried out and my breath fogged up a part of the mirror. His other hand began pinching my clit while his other hand continued fingering me. The double stimulation quickly drove me towards the edge and soon enough, I climaxed magnificently as Sean watched my face from the reflection of the mirror. BL.net, time for you to undress me and help me change, he commanded as he pulled me around to face him once more. I was so unsteady on my feet that I bumped right into his chest when he pulled me around. My orgasm left me feeling dizzy and a little disoriented, but I was slowly recovering. Quickly, my hands reached for the hem of his shirt before pulling it up to remove his shirt. Sean lifted his arms above his head and helped me pull the shirt over his head. Great, at least he's willing to help me out. The sight of his beautifully toned body took my breath away. The shirtless photos of him on billboard and magazines looked great but nothing beats the feeling of his muscles flexing beneath my hands as I ran my hands on his chest before stroking my way down to his firm six-pack. Sean sucked in a breath, and I knew that I was turning him on pretty badly too. To be continued. Chapter 28 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 28 Spoiling him my hand reached for his belt and began unbuckling it as he pulled me into a wild and passionate kiss. His lips crushing against mine before he bit softly on my lower lip. I parted my lips invitingly and he readily took my invitation by thrusting his hot tongue deeply into my mouth. Our tongues danced around wildly while I unbuckled his belt and unzipped his pants. To my utmost surprise, Sean broke our kiss and sat down on the chair before he beckoned to me with his hands and eyes to join him. My eyes went to the large upstanding pole in between his legs. His cock was huge, thick, and very erect. Come and ride me. I want to see you go wild. Sean commanded. I honestly didn't think that he would pick this position out of all the other options that were feasible in this situation. However, he had made his choice and I had to go along with it. I approached the chair and slowly spread my legs to straddle him. This position is quite embarrassing because I had to take the lead in taking in his cock and moving. I planted my feet on the ground and spread my legs before carefully positioning his hot and thick cock at my throbbing entrance. His cock was hard and hot in my hand as I held him. Sean moaned softly at the feel of my hand on his sensitive member as his eyes watched my face intently from below. He watched my every reaction as I positioned his cock at my wet entrance. Dot, take my cock inside you, Elena, he whispered to me seductively. Ah, dot it's so dot big. I moaned and whimpered softly as I slowly lowered my hips onto his upstanding shaft. The thick head of his rod stretched my entrance and began to slowly penetrate my wet love hole. I gripped his shoulders with both hands as I lowered my hips further down, taking in more of his length inside of me. His cock felt hot and very thick as more of him slid inside of my pussy. Instinctively, my pussy clenched around his massive cock as if trying to remember his shape and size. I tried my best to relax my pussy around him as I continued to take in more of him inside of me. His hands held the sides of my hips as he stared at my face. I moaned softly as he slowly filled me up deeper and deeper. A bit more. It's not completely in yet, Sean said before smirking at me. He's such a troublemaker but for some reason, I couldn't really get mad at him for anything. I sat down further onto him until his entire length was buried deep into my hot cunt. Sitting on his lap skin dot on dot skin, I sighed as I finally managed to take his entire cock into me. I could feel his cock twitching inside of me and I knew that he wanted me to move and ride his cock. Can you move? Sean asked as his hands moved up to caress my breasts. I panted a little, but I nodded to him. Flexing my legs, I began lifting my hips up slowly. Instantly, I felt the sensation of his cock rubbing along my pussy walls as his cock began moving out of my pussy. It felt so good already and we had just started. I wasn't sure how long I could last before I come lifting my hips just enough to slide his cock partially out of my hole, I squatted down and sat on his lap again. His cock pounded into me from the movement of my hips, and I cried out at the intense pleasure. Feels good. You're clenching around my cock. 
Sean said, and I could hear the satisfaction in his voice. I knew that he was feeling good too and the hardness of his cock that seemed to be getting harder and hotter inside of me was more than enough proof than I needed. Ah, uh, Sean, ah, uh, I moaned and cried out his name as I began to move my hips up and down faster. Our sex made lewd wet sounds as his cock rammed in and out of my hole faster and harder. The crazy addictive pleasure that I was feeling was taking over my mind and body. I couldn't control myself anymore, my body moved wildly as I rode his cock fast and hard. I locked my arms around his neck as I bounced my body up and down the length of his cock. My pussy clenching hard around him as I rocked my hips to ensure that the swollen head of his cock hit all the right pleasurable spots deep inside of my wet hole. His cock felt so good inside of me. He's so big and he's already getting bigger and hotter. My breasts bounced up and down more intensely than before as I sped up my wild humping. My cries had gotten shamelessly louder as I lost myself in my desire for him. That's so sexy. Lift your hips. Yes, right there. Sean instructed as his hands helped support my hips and lifted it up to the level that he wanted it to be. Oh. Aw. Oh. Sean. I cried out as his cock thrusted sharply upwards into my eagerly awaiting hole. Sean thrusted his hips upwards from below, ramming his cock into my pussy and I cried out at the sensation of his cock pounding forcefully into me. His large hands held my hips in place as he thrusted faster and harder from below. It felt different from when I was the one moving, it's much more intense. Sean thrusted harder and faster than I could manage when I rode him. I threw my head back and moaned wildly as he continued to pump his cock into me. His sexy groan of lust turned me on so much and my pussy quickly got wetter than before. I cried out as I felt a gush of hot wetness spurt out and flooded my pussy hole. Want to move together? Sean suggested and I knew that it wasn't really a question. To be continued. Chapter 29 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 29 End of tonight his hands loosened around my hips a little as he urged me to move. My hips began moving automatically to match with his thrusting movements. I met his thrusts halfway by lowering my hips when he thrusted upwards. His cock was hitting me deeper than before. It's so deep. So good. I managed to say in between my passionate moans and heavy breathing. It's so rough that it felt like he was messing up my insides with his wild thrusts. Sean groaned louder as our hips slapped against each other in our attempt to get even closer. It felt so hot inside of me, and my core throbbed with desire and need. I wanted Sean to fuck me harder until I lost my mind to the pleasure completely. As if he could hear my plead, Sean plunged his cock deeper into me, hitting my womb so deeply inside while I cried out and closed my eyes tightly. My mind felt hazy, and I couldn't focus on anything. As my mind let go, my body began moving in abandon as I rode his cock madly. I could feel my orgasm fast approaching. It felt like something was about to explode from my pussy. I'm coming. Sean did I dot ah, uh, I cried out against his shoulder as my climax consumed me whole. I saw white and then I didn't see anything at all. Sean continued pounding his enormous member into me and I knew that he was also close to his release. As I tried to catch my breath, I clenched my pussy walls around his cock to bring him even closer to his climax. Sean called out my name before his hips jerked wildly against mine and soon his cock was twitching deep in my wet cunt. In the next instant, his hot release shot out of his cock into me. He's coming so much inside of me, I thought as I felt his warmth fill my lower abdomen. His body stilled and I hugged him close to me while his cock continued to plant his seed into me. I rested my head on his shoulder as I tried to catch my breath. By the time we were done, we were both panting hard. Carefully, I began getting off him. I felt his cock slide out of my quivering pussy before the combination of our love juices gushed out of my wet entrance like a dam had burst when his cock unplugged my love hole. I stood up and the wetness ran down my legs, it was such a dirty yet sexy mess. I need to clean up. I whispered as I staggered towards the dressing table to grab some tissue. More like a lot of it. 
you're still able to walk. Maybe we should go for another round, Sean said before smiling at me suggestively. No more that we have to get you back home, I said, sounding responsible. I would worry about cleaning my pussy first before worrying about other people if I were you, Sean teased me before laughing softly. Can you just get dressed please? I snapped lightly at him in reply. I'll start but you're going to help me when you're done fixing your clothes. Sean said before laughing a little. At least he headed for the clothes and started changing. It was like a small miracle when he listened to me. I couldn't believe that I was the slightly older one here. He's so hard to manage that I wondered how his usual manager manages him. I should ask him for some tips that might make my life easier. After cleaning myself up decently enough to leave the room without obviously giving it away that we had just had sex, I returned my attention to Sean. He was half done. Great. Can't you dress up any faster? I muttered in annoyance as I yanked the shirt from his hands and began helping him dress. You should have helped me the first time that I asked. Sean complained as he pouted playfully. Whatever. Let's go back. So many people are waiting for us, I said sternly. Should we go for another round back at my place? Sean suggested once again. He never gets tired of sex, I swear. It's past midnight. I already worked too much overtime, I said without looking at him. My hands were busy buttoning up his shirt. He's a superstar but the way he likes to be pampered makes him feel like a kid sometimes. What about spending the night? I don't mind paying extra. Sean said, and I could tell that he was quite serious. I don't spend the night, I said as I looked directly into his golden eyes. That I was finally done dressing him up and my hands fell down to my side from his chest. Our passionate tryst is now over. We're heading back and going our separate ways. For tonight. After sending off Sean at his penthouse, the team and I were finally free to head back. I quickly thanked everyone in the team for their hard work today. It had been a long day and I could tell that everyone was exhausted, however, Everyone was in good spirits and extremely proud of our achievements for the day. That was how the day always ended when we worked with Eros. The days with him were tough because of his tight schedule and many unexpected problems could pop up to challenge us at any time but at the end of the day, the output that he produces was always beyond our expectations. That was why everyone was so invested in supporting him and that was probably why he also had many fans. When I arrived back at my small and humble studio apartment, I flopped down on the floor next to my bed and stretched my legs. It feels so amazing to come back to this small and slightly run dot down apartment. It feels so like home. This is it. After a long day, coming back here where everything felt simple and basic always saved me. I removed my contact lenses and put on my thick black frame glasses. After resting a little, I headed for the small bathroom where I removed my fake eyelashes, my makeup and clothes. Then, I finally felt like I had returned to being myself. Just the plain me where I wasn't anyone's contract wife or girlfriend. Right now, I'm just me. I'm just plain Samantha. Welcome back, Samantha, I whispered to my own reflection in the mirror. One day, when all of this is over and I've paid back all the debt that I owe, I'll get rid of my current name and return to being plain old Samantha Smith. Then I will leave everything behind and move somewhere where no one knows who I am. That is my dream. To be continued. Chapter 30 You are listening at NovelFull.audio 30 My third husband, why do you have to attend an opening party for a hotel? You don't own this hotel, do you? I asked, not ignoring the possibility that my guess could be right. I don't but one of my closest friends does. On top of that, the security system of this hotel was designed by my company, Brandon replied casually. Oh, right that I keep forgetting that you also own a cyber security company, I said as I nodded my head. Just as our conversation died down, we arrived at the grand opening of a new luxury hotel that was smack in the middle of the shopping district in the city center. I felt like the dress that I had on was slightly too tight around the waist but there was nothing that I could do about that now. 
the slick black limousine that we were riding had arrived at the entrance of the event. I could see the familiar red carpet on the floor right in front of the car door. Brandon got off the car first before leaning down towards me to offer me his hand. Your hand, my lady, Brandon said as his grey eyes met mine and held it. Cameras were flashing all around us and I knew that I had to make sure that this scene was picture perfect. If only he was a gentleman like this when we were alone as well, life would be close to perfect. I smiled a little at him as I placed my hand into his and he helped me out of the car. Now that we were standing side by side, the reporters and cameramen went wild. Brandon and his company's representative had just announced that we are in a relationship. Since that day, everyone wanted to get a piece of us. Reporters quickly surrounded us while Brandon's bodyguards made sure that they didn't get too close. The flashes of the cameras were blinding, and I made sure that I had a perfect smile on at all times as I stood very close to Brandon's side. I felt Brandon's arm around my waist as he pulled me even closer to him. We were so close that my body was literally pressed up against his side. The reporters started bombarding us with questions about our relationship. As agreed beforehand, I would let Brandon take most of the questions unless a question is explicitly directed at me. We're engaged so obviously we are heading towards marriage, Brandon answered calmly. Wow and when will the wedding be, the reporter inquired. We still don't have a date in mind, but it shouldn't be too long in the future, Brandon replied confidently. Will you be finally taking over the entire group after your marriage, another reporter asked. My marriage has nothing to do with the company, Brandon stated matter dot of dot factly. As always, he's such a good liar and he looks so serious and convincing too. The reporters all looked at him with glazed eyes as if they were under some sort of spell. They don't know that he's got them all wrapped around his fingers like puppets on a string. What about plans for a family in the future? One of the reporters turned to address the question directly at me. Hell, seems like I have to take this one. It's a little too early for us to think about that. I replied softly as I smiled at the reporter. Seriously, they should just mind their own business. We're not even married but they're already asking about kids. I wanted to laugh and roll around on the floor as I thought about the fact that we weren't even really engaged. Of course, we will be having kids soon after our wedding. I can't wait to build a family with her, Brandon replied with a confident smile. How can he say that with a straight face? I bet he could make it as some superstar actor if he chose to do so. His arm around my waist tightened, pulling me closer to him. I placed a hand on his chest as I turned to flash a happy and radiant smile towards the group of reporters and cameramen. So many flashes went off and I started feeling that I could better relate to how animals probably feel in the zoo. Dot after that we successfully shook of the crowd of reporters and entered the main venue of tonight's event. Many famous people were here tonight including moving stars, famous sport players, business tycoons and various other celebrities. It was one hell of a red dot carpet event. I stood by Brandon's side with my hand in the crook of his arm as he made small talk with the many people that greeted him. I knew well that Brandon didn't particularly like these events, but he was extremely talented in handling them. He once told me that it was all about efficiency and he proved it again tonight. Within a short amount of time, he had spoken to everyone that he wanted to speak to and we were ready to just relax and enjoy the event. Whatever business objective that Brandon had in mind was already taken care of. Yo Brandon, you have to stay over at my hotel tonight. I've prepared a special suite for you. Dot and your beautiful fiancé, Greg came over and clapped a hand on Brandon's shoulder. Greg is the owner of the new hotel that was opening up today. He was also one of Brandon's good friends. I couldn't believe that he's offering for us to stay the night though. That was against my policy. Thanks. I'm sure my fiancé is looking forward to it, Brandon said before winking at me. I wanted to roll my eyes at him. Instead, I plastered on a radiant smile as I smiled at him and then at Greg. Thank you for thinking about us. I'm sure you're very busy today. Congratulations on your newest hotel, I said as I gestured to the bustling party around us. 
you're such a sweetheart. It's no wonder that you won Brandon over, Greg replied with a joyous smile. To be continued.